Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLU Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Panda Street Code. Question type easy. Question number 11113. And the question name is repeated, Reported Posts. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities and the links are also provided in the de description below. Now let's solve together the problem which you want to solve. They have given an actions table. Let's think like it is some Facebook kind of this thing. Some users are there in this platform. Some posts they have done on which date they have done. If that post had been reported or not something like that. Okay, is the uh, post has been viewed by anyone, liked by anyone, shared by anyone, or someone has reported them? Okay, after that. What is the extra action taken? Nothing, or it was reported as spam, reported as racism. What is the subcategory? They want to know it. Now, what is the thing they're asking? Write a solution to report the number of posts reported yesterday for each report reason. Okay. Assume today is July 5th. So, if today is July 5th, what is yesterday? July 4th. So, they're asking what are the number of posts reported for July 4th? Okay. Let us copy it and let's check it. So we require only July 4th. So this is July 4th not this one let me take an highlighter so this is july 4th 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 and this is july 4th so on july 4th and what is the action they're asking if you see clearly reported yesterday for each report reason so let us consider only report reason where is the report reason this is the report reason this is the report reason and what else is there yeah this is the report reason and this is the report reason okay so if you clearly observe this is the row satisfied this is the row satisfied this is the row so not this one this is the row okay so there are four dates which are belonging to july 4th and reported now what they are asking is for different posts what is the different actions they have been taken? For example, you can see here for spam. For spam. To racism. Five racism. So here, how many things are there? We can see that two posts are there which have been reported under racism okay but here in spam it is not two it is only one because a same post has been reported spam twice so any duplicate values let me remove it so what is the step one i need to do step one is filter for action this one is equal to july 4th next filter for some action is equal to report that is the filter one second step is there may be some duplicate things where the post has been reported twice. So wherever the combination of post and extra is duplicate, remove them. That is step two. Okay. After that, step three is group by this extra column and count the rows. Here it is one. Here it is two. Okay. Let me do the step one. So step one, DF is oh, okay. Mm, actions 
is equal to actions table where actions action id action date is equal to 2019 07 05 and actions action column is equal to report written action table okay actions sorry it should be july 4th right So we know that there are four ports which are being done but i don't care about everything i care about the post id comma extra so there are four rows okay and we see that a duplicate thing is also there so let me remove the duplicate here itself drop duplicates okay now we have the unique post and their reported actions now actions dot group by the step 3 for each extra do the count of rows okay as i want it a data frame let me do reset index dot size will give us count of rows you can see here racism 2 spam 1 okay let me rename this as report count okay you can see okay they want to call extra as a report reason dot rename columns equal to dictionary previously it is called extra now call it as report reason okay successfully we have solved it now let me check for all the test cases our solution has successfully passed all the test cases and we have successfully solved the problem if you want the code solution for this it will be available in this github repository the link will be provided in the description below further if you are interested in learning data science analytics ml nlp computer vision and generative ai stuff Please fill in the Google form below. My team will be reaching out to you soon. And if you are preparing for data science interviews, please check out this playlist. It will be greatly helping in your interview rounds. And if you have any other further questions regarding the problem which you have solved, please use this hashtag AskMLUpresses in the comment section. I will be answering those comments which there already has been raised. And until then, keep learning guys.